Okay, so what innovative project did you do? All right, so the seventh grade earth science class was exploring the essential questions of how our earth's surface is changed um, by different types of erosion, whether it be chemical or mechanical erosion. Um, um, so they uh, actually, I didn't tell you, we did um, padlet, a padlet to begin with. And so I just put chemical weathering up on the, that was our topic, and the students, I said, well, what do you think of when we say chemical? Um, and so they, instead of telling us, they just sent up their responses up on the board. Um, and so we talked about what does chemical mean to you, um, and what, what pops into your mind when we say chemical. And then we looked at mechanical, so then they threw up some what mechanical means to us. Um, but then we went out and explored in our just on campus, and they were to take pictures of weathering that they saw. And if they thought they knew if it was mechanical or chemical, they could go ahead and add that on their picture. But if not, um, we would talk about it later. So we got all these pictures from all over the school. There was some teachers' cars on there, and um, just where we'd seen like uh, the building eroding away. Um, and then so when we came back in the classroom, then we pulled up each picture individually and we talked about, well, do we think this is mechanical? Is this chemical? And then if we decided on either one, then we decided what specifically is eroding it. Was water doing this or, um, you know, whatever. So that was fun. And so the students got to modify their, their um, subtitles on their pictures so that we can know what types of erosion it was. Um, and then... We discussed, we wanted to get specifically into water erosion. So we looked at different soil features, um, earth surfaces that are different. Said, well, what are some different places you can go? So the students were putting up pictures of like the mountains. Um, so it would be a rocky surface or um, had a good slope. And we looked at like farming, um, no-till farming, where there's always some, some type of vegetation on the soil or when it's right after they've disked it up and it's bare soil. So then we pulled in the dust bowl and talked about that those kind of things. Um, we talked about the beach where it's just sand. Um, so each student was allowed to make up a oh, um, little sample in a bottle um, of their their chosen surface feature. So some kids had some sand and act like they were at the beach. Some other kids had some rocks because they were in the mountains. Um, one kid was a farmer, so he just had soil. Um, and then we tested the rate of erosion. And we used um, on a slope, put on um, a gentle slope with a gentle rain. And so we were to, able to collect their samples and see how much of their surface eroded away. Um, and then I had the students look up soil conservation methods for their type of um, land surface. Um, and once they found what types of uh, conservation methods were used in their areas and they were able to put them on their samples and try to conserve um, and then we did it again we had another rain um, and it was fun because like even the students pointed out well my my sample is still wet from our last rain so it might be saturated so then they went and got a whole new bottle they wanted to set up a whole brand new one where it wouldn't be saturated and with their soil conservation methods and it rained, um, and so it was, it was really fun. They were able to, and there was huge differences, and they just, they talked a lot about it, and uh, if they remember it next week, I don't know, but at least <laughs> this week they remember it. Exactly. Yeah.